Frederick James Prince Sr. was born Frederick Karl Pratzel, on June 22, 1954, at St. Clair's Hospital in Manhattan, in New York City, within the United States of America. He was the son of Edward Karl Prutzel and Maria de Grace Prutzel. His mother was a Puerto Rican Catholic, and his father was a German Lutheran immigrant who had arrived in the U.S. as a child in 1934. Prinz was, raised in a mixed neighborhood in Washington Heights, New York City. When he was a child, his mother enrolled him in ballet classes to deal with a weight problem. Without telling his parents, he successfully auditioned for the Lagardia High School of Performing Arts, where he was introduced to drama and continued ballet, and this is also where he discovered his gift for comedy. He dropped out of school in his senior year to become a stand-up comedian. Prince worked at several comedy clubs in New York City, including the Improv and Catch a Rising Star, where he introduced himself to audiences as a Hungarian as he was part Hungarian, and part Puerto Rican, his mother was actually Puerto Rican, but his father was a German immigrant with no Hungarian ancestry. He legally changed his surname to Prince early in his career. He chose this name because, according to his friend David Brenner, he originally wanted to be known as the King of Comedy, but since Alan King already had that name, and held the title, he would be the Prince of Comedy instead. In 1973, Prince made his first television appearance on one of the last episodes of Jack Parter Night. In December 1973, his big break came with an appearance on The Tonight Show starring Johnny Carson. He appeared on and guest hosted The Tonight Show on several other occasions, with appearances on the Midnight Special to perform his comic routine. From September 1974 until his death in January 1977, Prince starred as Francisco Chico Rodriguez in the NBC TV series, Chico and the Man, with Jack Albertson, their show was an instant hit. Prince made several appearances on, the Dean Martin celebrity roasts, like the roasts of Sammy Davis Jr. and Muhammad Ali. In 1975. Prince released a comedy album that was recorded live at Mr. Kelly's in Chicago, titled, Looking Good, which was his catchphrase from, Chico and the Man. In 1976, he starred in a made-for-TV movie called, The Million Dollar, Rip-Off. Prince had a little-known talent for singing, examples of which could be heard in the background of the title song of the Tony Orlando and Dawn album, To Be With You in his appearances on their variety show and on even on his own sitcom. In September 1976, around four months before his death, Prince signed a five-year deal with NBC worth six million dollars. On October 13, 1975, Prince married Catherine Cochran, with whom he had one child, the actor Freddie Prince Jr., who was born on March 8, 1976. Prince Sr. was arrested for driving under the influence of Quaaludes on November 16, 1976, and a few weeks later his wife filed for divorce. Prince had also been with actresses Raquel Welch and Pam Grier, whom he met in 1973. Grier recalls their relationship in, her memoir, My Life in Three Acts. Prince was also close friends with singer Tony Orlando, Orlando appeared on, Chico and the Man and Prince appeared on Orlando's variety show. As he started to make more money, Prince took martial arts lessons from Robert Wall, who was a student of martial arts legend Bruce Lee. Wall ended up being godfather to Freddie Prince Sr. Prince also suffered from depression, which got worse in the weeks after his wife filed for divorce. On the night of January 28, 1977, after a phone call with his estranged wife, Prince received a visit from his business manager, Marvin Dusty Snyder. While Snyder was visiting him, Prince shot himself in the head. Prince was rushed to the UCLA Medical Center and placed on life support following emergency surgery. His family removed him from life support, and he died at 1 p.m. on January 29, 1977, he was 23. In 1977, the death was ruled a suicide, 
but in a civil case lodged by his mother and his wife in 1983 against the Crown Life Insurance Company, the jury found that his death was medication-induced and accidental, which meant the family could collect $200,000 in life insurance. This followed a $1 million out-of-court settlement with his psychiatrist and doctor to end their malpractice suit for allowing him access to a gun and over-prescribing him quaaludes. Prince is interred at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in the Hollywood Hills of Los Angeles, near his father, Edward Carl Prutzel. His son Freddie Prince Jr., who was less than one year old when his father died, didn't speak publicly about his father's death until he discussed it in Kevin Pollack's 2015 documentary Misery Loves Comedy. Fred